I am Max Perez and today we're going to be installing this FJTS 0814 on this 2009 Toyota FJ. Follow me and let's get started. All right guys, so here we are and this is our FJTS and this one I recommend not just because it's a much bigger screen and the AC is digital and everything, it's just the the easiness of use. Uh, in some vehicles, a lot of them, uh, you do not have the volume up and down like this one does. So on the other unit, you kind of have to swipe down and, and put the volume up and down on the screen. Uh, the vantage that this one has, that it has the knobs right here. So you can actually put uh, your uh, volume up or down or you could change your station right over here you don't need to be swiping down and scrolling up so i really recommend this one over the other unit if you don't have uh, the volume control on your steering wheel so i'm gonna go ahead and start wiring this up and i'll get back in one second i'll show you guys how everything is done all right so there's one step we need to do on this one and we need to take out the two uh ac uh, uh plugs that go right here this is behind the original radio i'll show you this on the video that i'm going to put on top but what we're going to do is we're going to pull this out right here and we're going to slide this little um strip right in here till it goes down till you can go down anymore and then we're going to press down on the two sides right here so it can lock into place and we're literally done so we did our transfer we're ready to go so now all we have to do is put these three screws back on and uh, our ac is ready for action all right so for the three screws that go here we supply those in a little bag and you should see them right in here it's three little screws so i'm going to go ahead and pull the first one out as always i recommend you use a magnetic screwdriver this way you know if you drop one of them you'll be good you know you know now we're gonna go ahead and tighten this up right here. Perfect, right into place. Gonna do the second one. You don't wanna over tighten these. There we go. So now we have our AC module connected and now we can go ahead and start connecting all these uh, uh, wires in. Uh, the first one, since this one is a bigger screen, I would recommend you put a towel or shirt to put it right here so it could protect against any scratches or anything. All right, so I'm gonna use my T-shirt. I'm gonna put it right there. This way we uh, get to the screen protected. We have all of the wires that we just ran. And now it's time to put this guy in. So we're just gonna lay it out right here. For now, we're gonna start putting all the radio connectors in. So I'm gonna start with my USB first. And these are all built to fit in one place. So don't force it in if you see it's not, it's not working. If it's not fitting in, it's most likely because it's in the wrong spot. We have our Wi-Fi antenna. I'm gonna plug that in. Next, we have our GPS antenna, and that goes right over here on the upper one. We have our radio antenna, which goes right on top of the GPS antenna. We have a rear view camera adapter. This one, this car does not have a rear view this car does not have a rear view camera, so I'm just gonna leave it here for the owner in case he decides to put one in. He'll be able to find this wire real quick. We have our main RCA, and this is where we're gonna connect our microphone for now. And finally, we have our second USB, and that goes right over here. And last, we're gonna put in our main power harness right on the radio. Now we should be left 
with some of these harnesses that are gonna connect to the radio. Uh, real quick though, guys, not all of these have to be connected in order for the radio to work, so uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, we are gonna connect this pink and black one right over here. This is what controls your volume control and your AC. All right, and then we have this little uh, white harness. And if you notice, no, it doesn't fit anywhere else, but in the place it's supposed to go. So this goes right over here on the side. Now it's time to connect the AC connectors and the power connectors. You will get an adapter just like this one. So we're gonna put this right over here. And then the other end, we're gonna connect to the bottom of the screen, which is right over here. Next, we have the two harnesses for the AC and we're gonna plug these right over here. And we have the second harness. So we're gonna plug this right over here. Beautiful. Lastly, we have the three connectors for the radio. Again, if it doesn't fit, um, if you have extra ones, don't worry about it. That's just uh, because your vehicle doesn't have that particular option so again these only fit in one place but do not force it because you don't want to bend your pin so you should see that snap right in you shouldn't force these in so from the looks of things on this radio these two do not go so i'm going to put this on the side you could cover this up with tape later if you want just to be safe so you don't have any feedback any wire feedbacks or anything and then from here, we're gonna use the ones that actually fit. So here's one, and then the second one will be this one right here. And this big one, actually, we don't need to use. If you see the wiring, it's actually the same one as this. It's just for a different year car. So some cars will be this one, and some cars will be the other wire that's there. These wires we don't need. We're gonna put these on the side right here. And finally, we're gonna connect in the microphone. And that goes to the harness where it has the green RCA, which is this one right over here. All right, so that's it. So now I'm ready to put this back and uh, see how everything works out. All right, so for the original radio, I'm gonna use these tabs right here. There's only three of them that we're gonna use. We're gonna recycle them, so just stick your screwdriver in and you're gonna kind of twist and push out. All right, so real quick, we're gonna plug in our clips, our retainer clips, and there's three of them, two on the sides and one in the center. And we are ready to put this unit back in place. So I'm gonna push all my wires up, make sure you're not uh, crimping any wires. And once we find where these clips go, we're just gonna push it right in, right into place. In this part, be careful guys with the screen and the screwdriver. Make sure you have somebody helping you put this in. All right, so now we're gonna put in our trims back on. And we're gonna start with this one here. Again, they kind of fall from the top and then you could just push it down and it'll fall right into place. That's one. And the other one. 
So now we can go ahead and put out two screws on the bottom. And finally, we're gonna put the last one right over here. All right, so now we have everything connected. I'm super excited. This is the first time I actually see this on a Toyota FJ. So this is very exciting. Let's turn this on. We have our AC controller down here. And look how beautiful that screen looks right there. So the first thing I wanna try, of course, is all these buttons. We have our hazard lights and that's on our temperature control and it opens up right over here i'll show you guys in a second how to change this to fahrenheit on the bottom is still fahrenheit this one would not change just so you guys know but you are able to see the temperature here in fahrenheit and i'll show you that how to switch that in one second uh, i'm gonna turn it on just to make sure all the features are working We have our AC power right here. So that power's on really nice. We have our AC compressor. So that turned on right away. We have our uh, front uh, defrost, rear defrost right over here. Everything is working. As you can see, you can change the mode and it also displays it right on the screen. Over here, you have a light flashing and that's the passenger seatbelt sign that's flashing. So I'm gonna go ahead now and open up my radio just to make sure that that's working. Search for a radio station. Here we go. Here we go, we can put volume up and down. Again, guys, it's, it's like I said, the volume up and down. For this, we could change the, the tuning right over here. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you guys how to change this from Celsius to Fahrenheit. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the home screen. We're gonna swipe up and click on settings. We're gonna click on original. Then we're gonna swipe down and we'll see temp norm. We're gonna click on that and we're gonna change to Fahrenheit and confirm. So now when we press the buttons here for the AC, you should be able to see it in Fahrenheit. Unfortunately down here, it's only a Celsius for the moment, unless, you know, they come out with an um, uh, update in the future where they change this now. But again, you have both of them right here, so you have it right on the screen as well. Let me go back to the home screen. I'm going to connect to Apple CarPlay just so you can see how that works. And that's pretty much it for this installation video. I'm going to create another video with more content showing you guys how everything works on this system. So now we're going to go ahead and connect my phone to Apple CarPlay right over here. You could also do Android Auto as well. So what we're going to do is first we're going to do a search for our phone. And I'm going to open up Bluetooth. If it doesn't show up here, which you already did, you could always search it on your phone as well. So we're gonna click on that. The passcode default is 0000, and we're gonna click on pair. Now it says pair success. So now I can actually turn off my phone, put it on the side for now and we could open up Apple CarPlay right from over here. I'm gonna show you how to do this right up from the home screen. It's a quick little tip, just hold down any of the buttons that are here. Look for the button called T-Link for the app, which is this one here, and that's now my T-Link button. So now when I click on it, it'll take me directly into Apple CarPlay. So that's kind of a shortcut for that. So right now it's reading my radio, my phone says CarPlay, of course, this will go away in a couple of seconds. I could actually just exit out of that. And uh, I could still use my phone. I could put it on the side, but I still have CarPlay on the screen over here. So look how humongous this screen is. It's beautiful. Uh, all the icons are displayed beautifully. The resolution is really nice. This resolution is gonna vary though on the system that you're using like if you're using android auto uh, for some reason android or google i may say hasn't updated their icon so the resolution looks kind of low on the on the android side but as you can see it's not a system problem it's just the app that needs to be updated on the google side so over here again we have our maps 
So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the phone right over here where I have a little bit of signal. This way I could get the proper signal. And I'm gonna open up maps instead. So now we have our maps right here. This is exactly where we're standing at. We have Google Maps. And then finally we have our Waze app, which is right here. If I wanna quickly look at my apps and my GPS at the same time, just gotta go swipe left. So now we have Waze over here and I have my music playing. Again, you could raise, you could raise the volume right here. Change the track right on this knob right here. You could also do that, do that from right over here. All right, guys, so this is it for this installation. Look how beautiful that looks. Just take a look at that. I've never seen anything like this on a Toyota FJ, a 2009 Toyota FJ. This is, this is like, this is like getting a new one. This is a 2025 Toyota FJ right here. This is what that equals to right now. So I'm super excited. You guys, if you need more information on this unit, contact fjmods.com. Just write them a message, give them a call, they'll answer you. If you have any questions about the system, they'll be able to help you out. Any years, you know, is this one is from 2008 to 2014. So it's a big upgrade for your system. Uh, call them up, hit them up on Instagram, wherever you guys are at. So that's it for today. I'll catch you guys on the next one.